Your Majesty, we don't have time again. We can no longer wait for him. Let's proceed now. My lord, his number is still switched off. He loved the flute. Maybe his favorite tune will bring him back. my song favorite melody yes your majesty A man who dares to waste an hour of time has not discovered the value of life. Scars have a strange power to remind us that our past is real. Unfortunately, the clock is ticking. The hours are going by. The past increases. The future decreases. Possibilities Decreases, regrets mounting. Ezemo, we do not have time for riddles and adages. Let the ritual begin. Prince Ezebunafo of Naba Kingdom, if you can cut this omo and lay your hands on the crown in two minutes, then you are the chosen one. There's no need for all this. Me, I know I'm the chosen one.
Your time is up. Prince Mbuma Azoku of Great Enuguku Kingdom. It is your turn. Are you ready to crown me king as a more? Your time is up. Your Highness, they are not the chosen one. Then, what do we do? I need to have a successor. Your Highness, you need to cut the Omo. If you succeed, then you are the successor. The same blood. I said, Mom, I do not understand. I said, I am done being the king. Cut the Omo. You do not have a successor. You are the successor. You lie. 
I am the perfect one. Oh no. Crown me king. I said crown me king. My king, you're not saying anything. There's one more. Both of you are not saying anything. Crown me king! Crown him. You are not the king's successor. I am. You treacherous bastard. How dare you? <laughs> oh. Your Majesty, thank you are Let me, let me get the doctor. Did you call Emily Kilaka? I strutted you. Yes, I did. But he's not taking. Let me get the doctor. Please. Wait! Call him again. I need you to be who? Call him now! Okay, Your Majesty. Call, call him again. Okay, I will. Okay. Your Majesty, you are not taking. Please, I, I, I need to get back to oh, work. Just hold on. Don't hold on. I know you'll go back. But Cindy, I need you to think about what I told you. You are the only one I long to be with. I can't just take my mind off you. I, I keep thinking about you. I, I think I'm in love with you. And you know how I got to know I'm in love with you. Because my dream is finally better than my reality. Think, think about this. The king is awake. So I will take my leave. The king is awake. Hey, hold on. Where are you rushing to? Come on, why is your face like this? The king is awake. It's good news. See, Obelense, I need you to do something for me. You, you saw the maid I was with. I love her. I love her very much. I don't even sleep. She is the woman after my own heart. I need you to do something for me. You know, you know how to talk to them. Talk to this girl for me. Tell her how much I love her. If you're able to convince this girl to be mine, I will compensate you. In fact, send me your account number. I'll send you something to know how serious I am. The king awaits you. Fine. I'll see the king. Thank you. I might have to be forced to change that number. But you've done that before. I don't even know how they keep getting my new numbers. Are you sure you're not behind this? Why would they think I'll do such thing? Just switch off the phone or something. 
I'm still busy. Babe, when I told you I could draw a portrait of you of heart, you didn't believe me, did you? No, you wouldn't. Come over and take a look for yourself. Where did you learn how to draw like this? Well, I learned it in the States. This is a very beautiful work of art. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Do you also know I could um, draw a nude portrait of you? Oh, please. You wouldn't. You doubt me? Of course you wouldn't. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Are you crazy? <laughs> What is wrong with MNEK? What the hell is wrong with MNEK? you if you do not come out i'm going to call obelenzi and tell him where no, you are no 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 please please no don't joke with that name with me next time okay fine i'm not going to do that next time but could you at least pick up his calls and know why he's been calling you frequently i am not interested in whatever reason he's calling me i do not want to see anybody is that difficult to grasp Baby. Your Majesty, I will keep trying my best. You are strong. Tell me, how long do I have? I mean, look, I don't want you to patronize me. Just tell me how long do I have so that I can get them to prepare my son to ascend the throne, please. You have seven days or less, Your Majesty. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please, do not disclose this to anyone. I promise. I'm not going to disclose this to anyone. I will never. Pick up my staff. Sorry? Get my staff. <sighs> so I with it that you will never disclose this to anyone. It's your majesty. I am a Christian. Ken Kennedy, I command you to do as I have instructed you. Yes, I will consider that a treasonable offer. You know the repercussion. I swear by the sacred staff of, of the king, I will not disclose this to anybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. I have been observing the both of you. 
What is going on? What was he telling you? He says he wants to marry me. And you want to marry him? No! Why would you say such a thing? I don't want to marry him. I belong to you. It's you that I love. You know. You don't belong to me officially. As you can see, I'm just struggling to survive. We are just servants. I know. Love in your heart is greater than gold in your hands. If you choose money over love, you remain poor. My mother always said that to me. You see, your wisdom is the reason I love you so much. I love you. I love you so. Doctor, how is the kid doing? He's doing well. The king is a strong man. He's getting better. Doctor, your excuses. Your majesty. Mm. Oh no. Okay. My son has refused to talk to us. He has refused to come back home. My wife and my two daughters, they've all gone out there to the way. I need my sons around me now. Now, can I ask you a question? Go on, my king. Para virtue, anything happens to me. And my son is nowhere to be found. Who then has sent the throne? Because the throne cannot be left empty. My king, the law stipulate that someone from royal blood will ascend the throne of the king. Please smell you, son. My king, I don't think we will get to that. Even if something happens, Emenike must come back. The throne cannot be empty and wait for Emenike to arrive from wherever he is. I need my son in three days. No, I have done everything within my power, all to no obey. Please, oh no, get me my son. I will try, my king. How about your daughter? I've not spoken with her for years now. Please, I beg of you. It is time to reconcile with your daughter for the sake of my son. You understand what I am saying? Yes, my king. Upset about the way I spoke to you, and you don't like being spoken to in that manner. I'm sorry, okay? I'm deeply sorry about that. It won't happen again. I made you a portrait to atone for that. You don't like it. I didn't tell you. You didn't tell me what? I didn't tell you that I've not been in good terms with my father. We've not been talking for years. What? Why? What happened? 
He said it says me as a son he never heard. He wanted me to return in the family and give birth to children. That way his lineage would not be forgotten when he's gone. Isn't that crazy? Why is he sick or dying soon? I was humiliated. I was angry. I left and I told him he would never see me again. Why? Why do our parents keep doing this? Why do they keep thinking we have to live our lives according to their dictates, as though we are still in the olden days? Don't they know we have grown, that people have the right to decide what they want to do with their lives? I'm going to tear this No, 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 please. Please. I like it. Are you sure? Yes. He's still my father, just like your father is still your father. And besides, he reminds me so much of my sister. I like it. Thank you. Say so. So I I saw when you were talking to her. What did she say? Do me a favor, mister. With all due respect, stay away from her and concentrate on the one that loves you. Hold on. Obelinze. Is it me you are talking to like this? What do you mean I should stay away from her? And who are you to tell me who to concentrate on? Why, why, why would I stay away from her? Why would you even say that? Because she belongs to me. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, hold on. What just happened now? Hold on. Your Majesty. Doctor. Welcome back. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Man? How is he doing? He's stronger. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Missed you. Missed you too. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Um, Just doing my job. Thank you very much. Welcome back. All right. Tell me about yours. I mean, what happened between you and your father? You've never disclosed it to me. When I wanted to travel to the States, my parents objected strongly to it. My father especially refused. He insisted I was going to stay back here in Nigeria. This is a man I have loved all my life. The only crime I committed was wanting to break away from him financially and become independent. That was it. This man practically disowned me. Now he wants to see me. No. All I'm here for is just to stay with you, get married to you, and then we we'll move back to the States. Oh, come on, baby. We're here to finalize our union, right? Yes. Then we need their blessings. You need my father's blessing just like you need your own father's blessing. Babe, we can we can get friends and relatives of strangers to do. Ah, my father is the second in command. The second important man in the kingdom after your father. You don't expect us to have any hard wedding, do you? I'm 
I'm not ready to discuss this now, please. We'll talk about that later. Can you fix me something to eat? I'm famished. Yes, Your Highness. Uh, uh, I'm no Highness. Don't call me that. <laughs> if you say so. I insist. <laughs> Thanks, me. So please tell me, I'm back for all the gist. What's been happening in my absence? Let me gist you. Tell me. Hey, hey, do you know that two people have been fighting for her majesty here? Wow. Yes. That's big. Because the last time I checked, it was only Obelenze. It's not just Obelenze now. Wow. Yes. Who and who? Kennedy, the palace doctor. Wow. That's huge and confusing. <laughs> you guys should stop acting as if I'm not here. The last time I checked, I'm, I'm visible. Tell me, Your Majesty. You guys should stop calling me that. Don't call me that again. He brought Her Majesty. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, why your body peppering you like this? Are so you not Her Majesty? Me. So please tell me, since there is now a competition, who is it going to be? The rich doctor or the Please, I want to hear. See. Mm. Money can buy you a fine dog, but only love will make him wag his tail. Money can feed the body, but love feeds the soul. Money can't buy love because it's overpriced. Yes, money cannot buy love, but at least it improves your bargaining position. So tell me, who is it going to be? The Belenzi or the rich doctor? Obelenze <laughs> is the love of my life. <laughs> love, 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 love. Love wanting to. Meanwhile, since the rich physician is interested in the palace need, I'll be free to shoot our shots. Why not? Come on. Are you sure? Enjoy. <laughs> Have him to yourself. Love, love. The address he gave us was fake. And he has refused to take his calls. Daddy, I don't understand any of this. This is not making any sense to me. Why would he give us a fake address? I am so angry. Since Emenike has decided to excommunicate himself, we all should just let him be and move on with our lives. Oh, please shut up and stop blabbing. You just open your mouth to her just because you want to get involved in every adult conversation. What? Shut up, I'm what? not done. I said shut the fuck up, I'm not done talking. Dad is sick. I've told you several times that Emenike is the heir to the throne. He would definitely come around and find out what's going on here. Maybe you're too young to... Oh, please, stop! Do not even start with that age propaganda here. Mom, talk to your daughter. This is not why we're here. Emily K is simply being childish and dramatic and she's here supporting it. Oh, please, please, please. You both should leave. I need to be alone with my husband now. Leave! Have your food now. Don't worry, my daughter. I am not hungry. No, I won't take that. Daddy, I know you like food so much. You love food. You can't tell me you're not hungry. Dad, Daddy, you have been so worried since you came back. What is the matter? Nothing serious, my dear. Come on, Dad. You tell me everything, right? This must be so serious. But I want you to tell me what is bothering you. Dad, you know I'm so good at propelling solution. Well, um, he's the king and his son. What about them? When last did you speak with your sister? Today. Of course, we talk every day. You know our relationship is sour. 
but I start. Dad. Please, call your sister. Tell her to convince her the prince to return and see his father. Why? Why does the prince need conviction to come and see his own father? Our relationship is as sour as uh, mine and uh, your sister. Dad, are you sure this is a good idea? She might be erratic, you know. <laughs> Just call her. Okay, if you say so, I will. Mm. Mention three countries that start with the letter Y. Letter Y? Uh-huh. Yugoslavia? <laughs> Let me finish. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, my turn. <laughs> now, mention seven rivers in Africa. Wait. Seven rivers River, in Africa. Ri um, wait. One. Wait. Two. Um, three. Four. River Niger. Five, six, seven. Your time is up. <laughs> <laughs> you did. What's that? Sorry, hold on. Yes, hello? Is your father not Modesta? Hello? I can hear you. If it is not important, I wouldn't have called you. I know our relationship is sore, but please try and convince the prince to come and see his father. You need my blessings and that of his father. And if he eventually returns, make time to come and see me. Enjoy the rest of your day. What did she say? Babe, what's going on? Who was that? That was my father. You spoke with your father? Yes. He called me in my sister's number. Baby, you need to go see your father. No, 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 no. Don't tell me that, please. I do not need to see anybody. I'm not going to see anybody. In fact, babe, we're not going to have any traditional marriage anymore. We just go wedding court and travel abroad. Why? Come off it, we are Africans. I can understand there's nothing like traditional marriage over there. But we are Africans and you are royalty. I am not going to see anybody and that's final. Uh, Your Majesty. The drugs I gave you uh, make you strong to attend to the meetings and other royal responsibilities. You will be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I beg to take my leave now. My King. Your Majesty, Onowa awaits you in the throne room. Tell him I will be with him shortly. My Lord, is everything okay? There is something I want you to know. It's a secret. I already know what you want to tell me, Your Majesty. It has been revealed to me. 
you will be embarking on a journey of no return and you have limited time. You are truly the eye of the gods. Do you understand the implication? Yes, a new king must be prepared. My son is the heir, but he has refused to come back home. Zemo, it's a strict tradition that the next king must be purified before the coronation. I do not have time. And my son has refused to come. I do not know what to do. Oh, is there anything you can do? There is nothing I can do, your majesty. For your son must accept the kingship without force or compulsion. A new king must be purified in the next three days. I take my leave, Your Majesty. It's about father and Emenike. What? Is father about to die? Where did you get that from? He's so desperate to see Emenike. And he has been really sick. I heard the Ezemo has been visiting the palace for the past two weeks, more than the way he has ever visited the palace since father became the king. Emenike has has communicated himself. So what I don't understand is why this is stressing everybody. Emilike is the heir to the throne. But he has made it clear to everyone, even before he left the palace, that he has no interest in the throne. Eva, that's not his decision to make. He is the only son. He must be interested in the throne. That's his inheritance. Well, so now that he has made himself unreachable, what is going to happen? I mean, what would be the situation? We need to make a decision that will be beneficial to you and your family. Love is good, yes, but there is more to marriage than love. <laughs> Listen, at some point in marriage, eh, love will no longer matter. So you need to make a wise decision for yourself. Excuse me, I want to talk to you, if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, Saint Didi. Didi, please, just tell me you belong to another person and I'll stop bugging you. I am serious. I will not disturb you again in this life. You belong to the princess. I don't love the princess. I don't love her. You are the person I love. She's not the type of woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You, 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 you are. Sing Didi, I'll make you the happiest woman on earth. I promise you. See, as my wife, I would even want you to be a medical doctor. Yes, because I'm a medical doctor. I want to, pre I want to preserve the legacy. So I want you to be a medical doctor so that if I'm sick, I'll come to you. You'll be romancing my buttocks and be giving me injection because I don't want any other woman to touch my bum. Come on, you're so funny. <laughs> you're pretty. Thank you so much. You know, I've, I've always wanted to be a medical doctor. 
For real? I, I can help you achieve that. Uh, serious. Just, just say yes. Please. Um, I'm, I'm really confused now. I'll, I'll think about it and get back to you. I'm gonna do it. I'll see you some other time. Good night. What's going on? Why are you staring at me like that? Accomplishment does not erase shame. Hatred, anger, silence, discrimination, or immorality. It only covers it up with a creative version of pride and ego. Only restitution Forgiving yourself and others. Compassion, repentance, living with dignity will ever erase the past. What are you talking about? Are you sick or something? There is only one way to find out who's actually sick or dead. Come with me. You did this to yourself. I hate you. You must die. You must die. Hi.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Thank you so much, honestly. I even forgot it was my birthday today. Thank you for reminding me and thank you for this very warm reception. Hmm, you all seem amazing, you know, like I, I didn't expect this. For this very kind gesture, I'll talk to the palace administration to add to your salaries. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Again. Thank you, Mama. I am overwhelmed, honestly. Every day I thank God for bringing me into this family. It's not often time that you see a family as united and loving as ours. I want to thank you all. This is overwhelming. I mean, look at the portrait. I never expected all of this. <laughs> but in all things, I want to say thank you for being my family. And in my next world, I'll still like to be born into this family. Oh, yes. Thank you, Dad. Okay, no, that's enough. It's time to come make a wish and blow up the candle. Come on, come on, come on. Blow up your candle and make a wish. So, so on this wonderful occasion of my birthday, I want to use this opportunity to make a wish. Yes. That you all live in good health. Amen. That mom also lives long and continues to bask in the euphoria of joy she has brought into this palace. Amen. Amen. And that daddy here will live long, longer than his ancestors. <laughs> here we go. Hold on, please. Hold on. What? I have a wish to make from you too. Please, find a wife, marry before oh, we God. die. You know. <laughs> you Mama, know. you never stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. 
there is no time. Have you been able to talk to your daughter? Your majesty, I have. I have to understand that she even refused to pick her sister's call, unlike before. I don't really understand. Uh, but the doctor said you are getting better. Why are you so worried about yourself? Uh, I know. There is something you need to know. I have barely 24 hours to leave. I don't understand my king. Yes. The doctor said I have a few days to leave. And this have already been revealed to his end. This is no good news at all. Yes. This is why I'm so desperate for my sons to return. You know, he has not been purified and he cannot ascend his throne when I leave without being purified. I don't want him to come here out of pity. So, do not reveal this to anyone. In fact, I command you by the sacred staff you have sworn to, not to reveal it to anybody. He is the heir apparent to the throne. Find my son. The throne cannot be left empty. If by tomorrow he is not here, I will choose another king from the bloodline. Well, I already have someone in mind. Who is he, my king? Balanze. Hey, hey, listen. I don't want to discuss that topic anymore, please. We have to talk about it. I am sure this is the reason why your father wants to see you. I'm too angry to see my father now. Come off it. Anger is stupid. And stupidity kills you faster than your opponent's blade. I'm just not ready to listen to all of that now. What if it's a matter of life and death? You did this to yourself. I hate you. You must die. You must die. I had a terrible nightmare. Really? What was it all about? He was in the palace. Who? I was having a nap. My sister Eva, she walked in, said some things and asked me to follow her. I did. On getting outside, I met my mother and my sisters staring into a coffin. I stretched my head to see what was inside. Guess who I saw inside the coffin? Who? Me. And he said, you did this to yourself. I hate you. What does that mean? I don't know. You see, the goal of life is death. After death, you all become what you were before that. And we will experience death someday and become obsolete. As a dead leaf 
falling from a tree, crushed by a passerby, two arches, underlying the earth. Hold on, Dad. Why are you giving us death adages? Are you planning to die? Eva! You see, everyone will experience death someday. So that is why you have to be ready. I lost a friend to the cold hand of death. And that got me thinking that I would die someday. That is the reason Emenike must come back later tomorrow, or it will be too late. Too late how? My lord, is there something you're not telling me? I need to see Emenike. Everyone here must put effort to find him, to get him back home. Yes. This kingship will move to another family. Do you know where your sister lives in Lagos? I would like to visit her. She wouldn't approve of that. Do you know where she stays? She said Emedike made sure she packed out of that place before he came back. And she has not disclosed the new location to me. Try and communicate her. Tell her it's a matter of life and death that I would like to see her. Daddy, the problem now is that all our numbers are not connecting. You don't know that way you will communicate her? Huh? Okay. Maybe through Instagram or Facebook. Then do that. Okay. Something is off about that. It's been years that Emenike left. I mean, he has never mentioned him, even for once. And all of a sudden, he's desperately in need to see him. I'm more worried about his death allergies. Kennedy said he's fine, but I think he's just scared. He said if we don't bring Emenike back by tomorrow, that something will be too late. Now, the question is, what exactly will be too late? And how do we reach Emenike? How? Only one way. Which is? To call the person I swore never to talk to again in my life. What is my husband, your patient, hiding from us? I, I don't understand. He's my husband. And I deserve to know what is going on with him. Something is not right with my husband. And I'm sure you know what that is. Talk to me.
If anything happens to my husband, and I find out you are aware, I will ban you from stepping your feet into this palace and probably lock you up. I understand you are in love with a maid in this palace. And you are about breaking my daughter's heart. Don't worry. I know everything that happens in this palace. That is why I intend to know what is going on with my husband. Tell me, how much do you love that maid? Your Majesty, I love her very much. I intend to marry her. I am sorry, Your Majesty. Ruby is a wonderful... Tell me what is going on with my husband. And you will have the maid. I thought you said you are in love with Obelenze. What happened? I, I think I'm beginning to like him. He means well for me. And he said he will help me actualize my dream of becoming a medical doctor. I thought you were a smart girl, Ndidi. Don't you think that this is a scope to lure you to his bed? I don't think so. He has not even told me anything about sleeping with him. Okay, he stays in the palace now, yet he has not invited me to his apartment before. See, the moment you said you were not into him, I fell in love with him. Please, I'm begging you. I can't even sleep without thinking of him. Please, focus on Ubelenze and leave him for me. Please. Hi. Yeah. Um, please, could you excuse us? I I really want to talk to you. I should excuse you guys. Yeah, maybe later I come back. Mm. If you don't mind. Okay. This goes well. Hi. Oh, you have served me faithfully. You are a graduate, an intelligent young man. You have the opportunity to serve a work in the bigger, greater establishments, but you chose to stay with me. Thank you. I will forever be grateful. My king, I'm only discharging my royal job description, which I have sworn to. You did not swear never to quit when greater opportunity comes your way. You chose to stay with me. What is this, my king? Open it and read it. My king, I don't understand. You are now a shareholder in my company and the operations manager which entitles you to a duplex and a cap with mouth-watering salaries with effect from 
servant of Nesmond. My lawyer has a copy of this. Congratulations and thank you. Thank you for all you have done. My king, may the gods of Nkolofia kingdom bless you and give you long life, my king. I live for you. I am so grateful, my king. Your kindness is second to none. You are a man of integrity, sensitivity, and with true humanity in you. Even if I walk in your company, I will always remain your personal assistant. I do not wish to leave your side. For without you, I, Obeleze, is nobody. Thank you, my king. <laughs> Obeleze, time is pregnant. With time, and in a few days, you will have a decision to make for yourself. I do not want my family to scatter. And with you in my family, my legacy is protected. In view of this, and to be a permanent member of my family. I want you to marry my daughter, Eva. My king, I'm only but a servant. I'm not worthy to marry the princess. By next month, you'll be one of the richest in my country. You will no longer be a servant. Think about it. Obelenze, leave us. What are you hiding from me? Woman, I am tired. I need to go and rest. What did you make Kennedy swear to? He told me he swore never to see something. What is that? My love, I think I need to go. Please get the doctor. Please get the doctor. My kid. Please, my kid. Please be fast. Be fast. You did the right thing. Yeah. You see. You need to come with me now. The king is down. The king? Now. Yeah, I think you like this. I don't like it. Why? Simple. How about this? Yeah. No, this one is too simple. It's basic. No. Mm. Uh -uh. Who could be calling you my special number? Could it be Modesta? But I already blocked her. 
Then who else? I don't know. You won't believe it. Who's that? Your sister Ruby. Ah, no, 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 please. Whatever she has to say, tell her I've gone back to the States. Mm -hmm. I'll, in fact, I'll be waiting for you upstairs when you're done. Yes, Ruby. For you to call me, I am sure someone is dead. I know you're with my brother since he came back to Nigeria. I just want to tell him that father said he must come home tomorrow else it will be too late. This is serious. We don't know all the details yet, but something is off in the palace. Your father should know. Tell him to come home tomorrow else it might be too late for him. Thank you. He is just stressed. If he needs rest, he will be fine. Um. Obelenze, once Kennedy leaves, got me Eva. Yes, my king. Good. Excuse us. I am not going anywhere, my lord. Whatever it is you want to tell him, I need to know. Why are, you, why are you treating me like I'm a stranger in my own house? Please, leave us, I command you. Say it. I'm afraid, Your Majesty. You have less than 24 hours. Thank you. You almost told my wife. You know what would have happened to you. Your Majesty, she nearly broke me, but I stood my ground. Do you wish to marry my daughter? Your Majesty. It's okay. Don't, don't worry. If you don't love her enough to marry her, no problem. But let her know so you don't keep her hopes hanging. You're still part of the family. But if you change your mind, let me know. I'll give you my blessings. Thank you, Your Majesty. I'm going to take my leave now. Cool, man. and give me the phone. Call him. Uh. Avalanze. 
Whatever you are doing, leave it and come to the palace immediately. Don't go to the house, come straight to the palace. Now. Okay. Thank you. There is no more time. Your successor must be purified this night. I know. Your Majesty. Call him and go with my phone. Your Majesty, his number is switched off. In the absence of your son, who do you want to name as your successor? Remember, it has to be from the same bloodline. Avalanche, my younger brother. And so shall it be. He must be purified this night. He's already on his way. What happens if my son eventually returns after the purification? Once he enters the circle of the sacred kinship for purification, it is irreversible. However, Your Majesty, you still have the opportunity to get back your son this night. I will take my leave now. Is there no way this purification can be postponed till tomorrow? I am only the eye of the gods. I say and do what I am instructed to do. Your Majesty. to give me time to think. I, I, I really need to think about it. I've given you enough time. What are you thinking? Seeing that a great tragedy is going to befall this palace. I am serious. What do you mean, tragedy? Is that why the, the SMO is always here? And is that what you've sworn by the sacred staff? I don't know. I don't know. I just need to know what I'm doing. See, the king has already given me his blessings to marry Ruby. But I don't love her. You are the person I love. Is the king dying? Tell me. See, if you really love me, you don't have to hide anything from me. Do you know about the sacred stuff? I I think it's a symbol of power. Very powerful. If you swear by it and breaks it, what happens to the person? I don't know. But it has to be very dangerous. See, indeed, what matters is that I love you. I love you very much. Just say yes. Please. 
Father, how can you ask me to marry your personal assistant? A servant whom I do not have any bond or relationship with. Oledo, you know you are my favorite daughter. I will not deceive you. I know you can never deceive me. I want the best for you. Hmm? I've seen the future. But Dad, you haven't even asked me if, if I love him. I know he's very hardworking, intelligent and responsible, but... That is all you need in a man. You just said it all. Yes, my daughter. That I don't, I don't think we're compatible. Look, my dear, what counts in a marriage is not how compatible you are. It is how you deal with your incompatibility. Look, my dear, a good marriage is the one that allows change and growth in the individual and the way they express their love. But I heard he's in love with a maiden. Look, my dear, marriage is an alliance between a man who cannot sleep with a window shut and a woman who cannot sleep with a window open. There is much more to marriage than love. Well, it still boils down to love. So what if he doesn't love me? Look, my dear, you are my daughter. So beautiful and sweet. It's only a lunatic that will not look your way. Hmm? You know, you are a jewel of inestimable value. <laughs> <laughs> but hold on, Dad. Why are you suddenly matchmaking your favorite daughter. What is going on? Is I just want to make sure that my family is fine before I... Before? <laughs> before what? My nurse of father. Oh. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Please kneel and give me your hand. I don't know. Stand as witness. Yes, Majesty. Kneel. Oh, Belenze, come close. Now, I ask you, will you marry my daughter? It's, it's raining, raining. I'm not worthy of this. But if my king and my princess find me worthy, who am I to say no? Princess Eva, Ever since I was born till dead, I have never come across anyone as poor Cretudinas as you are. You're so perfect. You've got a gorgeous smile and a beautiful body that can keep anyone attracted to you forever. Your beauty is easily perceptible that even the blind can see it because your beauty is in your soul and it can only and it can only be beheld in the mind <laughs> that's enough that's enough <laughs> give me your hands <laughs> i know <laughs> give me your hands <laughs> Obeleza, I trust you with my life, love, cherish, and protect my daughter. Protect, do not allow my legacy to fade away. Protect my family with all you have got. I want you to promise me that you would do that for me. I promise, my king. Now you have my blessing. 
going to the water multiply. What's going on here? What just happened? You have to undo what you did now, Chid. Oh, you now call me by my first name? Yes. I am your wife. I deserve to be carried along in any decision you take in this house. You have to undo whatever you have done. I'm lost in my own house. No servant will ever marry any of my daughter. What nonsense! Your Majesty, please, you have to leave now. The king wants to rest. Excuse me? Are you ordering me out of my own matrimonial room? You should leave. No. Kate, you should leave. I said leave. <laughs> Go enjoy your marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Why have you refused to tell me what's going on with my father? The king is fine, he's just recovering. You lie. And you look horrible when you lie. Well, I've told you what I know. There has to be a reason you live here now. I came back, I noticed you've been given a room in the palace. Why is that? Is my father dying? No. Where did you get that from? The, the king is not dying, he's just recovering. Then why is he bent on seeing Emenike? He said if Emenike doesn't come here tomorrow, it will be too late. What? Will be too late. Emenike is the heir to the throne. His father needs him around, especially now he is sick. The king is fine, he's not dying. Don't say that again. By the way, I thought you said you were going to quit smoking. <coughs> Since you're here now, can we sit tonight? Maybe you might get me to stop smoking. I will be busy with the king. You keep giving me excuses upon excuses. What is going on with you? Excuse me, ma'am. Ndidi. See me later tonight. We need to talk. Okay, ma'am. So I ask you again, are you seeing another woman? I need to be with the king now. I'll see you later. And what was that? What the hell was that? What was what? You kneeling with a servant and holding hands with the king. Oh. Mother, you worry too much. We have pressing issue at hand. Father demanded to see your son in Menike or something will be too late. I think we should focus on that and handle other things later. Listen, you went to the best university in the world. I know that. I trained you very well. I'll be very disappointed if you have decided to stoop low and marry a servant. You know that will never happen. Where is your son in Menike? Why does she want to see me? Princess Ruby is going to kill me. 
She will kill me. Titi, calm down. I've told you to calm down. To worry yourself too much. If you're scared I told her something, I did not tell her anything. Maybe she's just calling you for something very important. I don't just want her troubles. She wouldn't take it lightly if she finds out you're talking to me. Titi, you, you, you worry yourself too much. Why? I've told you to calm down. Dr. Kennedy. Uh, Obelendi, what is it? Can I have a word with Ndidi? Are you sick? What is wrong? You don't have respect again. Can't you see I'm discussing something very important with her? When I'm done discussing with her, then you can come and have your word. What's the meaning of this? It's important I have a word with her. So what makes you think that what I'm discussing with her is not important? What is it? My friend, get out! And why are you not saying anything, Ndidi? What do you want her to say? Okay, to ask me to go. Th that's because I don't want to hurt either of you. Please, I'll just go. Oh, hold no, on! No, 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 no. You don't have to. Stay. You can stay with him. He loves you. Why? I am betrothed to another. Wow. This is good news. Congratulations. What does that mean? It means it means he's in love with another person. This is good news. It means you can stay with him. Thank you. Good boy. I've always known you're a good boy. This is good news. You see how he gave up on you? I can never give up on you. Never. Have you been able to speak with him anything? My lord, you've asked this over 50 times. His number is not connecting. But Ruby has been able to reach his fiancée through a strange number. What did she say? She didn't say anything. You know he took after you. Stubbornness is the bearer of disaster. Please. If I am no more, do not let them fall apart. Do everything to keep the family and protect the name at all cost. We have lost him again. Oh my Lord, we've not lost him. He will come back. Even if he does, it will be too late. What do you mean too late? Your Majesty, our balance is safe. Bring him in. And uh, on the road too. Your Majesty. My great elder brother, King Oguago. The great man that took Nkorofia kingdom to the enviable height where we stand today. I greet you, my king. Your majesty, greetings. Lord, great excuses. Elder brother, you sounded so urgent that you wanted to see me. Please tell me, is anything the matter? Are you all right? How balance it? My king. I am dying. I took you, God forbid. What is going on? Oh no. Our father 
came to me. It was not a dream. It was real. He told me to come home safe. He's waiting for me. He said I should bring Jonah and Ojo Carter. You know how much he loves Jonah. Oh no, what is going on here? I don't understand. Well, I'm saying, my king, I have waited for my son for so long. He has refused to come home. You know, the throne cannot be empty. And uh, the kingship must not leave the bloodline. So, you have been chosen as the next king. This is 2024. So no more initial grag. We are going straight to the point these days. I like you. Small time you can enter love. So you gonna come my house, I'm gonna come your house, you gonna come see me for a time, you're gonna run parole, no normal level. No time for all those formalities again. Are we together? Hey. It seems you're crazy. Are you okay? How can you even see a stranger on the road and stop her and start blabbing nonsense? You are mad. As I was paying a bread price before I begin to talk my mind, I, I, I used to pay. Please, I'm making you. I'm very, very stupid. I you, because I was trying to be polite. Do you know who is standing before you? No, make I rob you first before you know that we're there here. Give me your number, idiot. My baby, come, maybe kidnap us. Call me. You see, kidnap us here. Let go now, buddy. What are you people doing here? Who are you? Jehovah with these people. I love you, man. No, no. no. That's for power All because of Trono Is it my lune man over the Of drone. 